If you've got a neighbour and their cat is called Sue, do let me know. It's probably one or two of you. Stonkmeister General. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Today, this is kind of like a crazy thing. My mum is looking after a pug at the moment. His name is Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. Actually, my mum, the other day when she was walking him, we walked him all together with all the other dogs and she let him off the lead and he ran away and she was like going, Bruno, no, no. And we were going, no, no. Sorry. My mum hasn't seen the film, so she didn't understand what we were doing. But my mum wanted me to look after him this morning, so I was going to do homemade dog biscuits with, obviously, Bruno, no, no. And you guys, huh? Well, my mum's plans got cancelled, so I didn't have to make uh, dog biscuits. My dogs get spoiled anyway, so I thought, let's make a video for me today. Last night, I was in the supermarket foraging, and I came up with this. A chicken katsu curry burger with a rainbow coleslaw topped encased, enclosed, encapsulated in a sesame seed brioche bun. Oh, 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 I'm blooming gonna enjoy this. First thing we're gonna do is get our chicken ready. So we're gonna get our board and bash our chicken. Right, that's bashed. Now we're gonna soak it in buttermilk. Apparently the acidity in buttermilk, like we've made homemade KFC, can help soften the chicken. Ooh, baby, yeah. So that is in the fridge doing its thing. If you can leave it overnight, it'll be even better. Uh, if you can't get hold of buttermilk, you can use yogurt. I, I don't know if you could just use milk, but remember, we've done this before. If you wanna make your own homemade buttermilk, just get milk and combine it with a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar, and apparently it just kind of makes it go, oh, I'm buttermilk now. Cool. I probably love a katsu curry, and apparently the meaning of katsu, the first meaning here says it's a word shouted out in Zen Buddhism. It's used to help focus the energy. Katsu, I love it, I love it. If you've got a neighbour and their cat is called Sue, do let me know. It's probably one or two of you. But the other meaning is from Japanese, katsu cutlet. It basically means a cutlet of meat, which is like what a breadcrumb thing is. And obviously when you have a chicken katsu, you slice it. I'm not sure if I want to slice this chicken, but you can use pork and other bits as well. I'm excited. Right, we're going to make rainbow coleslaw. Woohoo! Gonna julienne a carrot. Gonna grate a white cabbage. And a red cabbage, although it looks a bit more like a purple cabbage. Oh yeah, look at that. Yellow and a red pepper. Have a look at all these colours. I am loving that. Right, let's get that in there. We then slice an orange. Get that orange juice in there. Oh yeah. Some mayonnaise. Oh, excuse you. Some yoghurt. And a bit of pepper. Make sure the yoghurt and mayonnaise coats all that veg. Oh wow, oh my gosh, amazing. Right, let's get this covered. <clears throat> nice. All right, and that's going in there with my chicken too. So you can make both of these ahead of time if you wanted overnight. So we're gonna make the katsu sauce now. And I don't wanna go into the whole history of like Japanese curries and the real meanings and stuff because I'll probably get it wrong. But one thing I will say, I weighed out all the ingredients and a medium curry powder, which is what we use to make the curry sauce as a bed of it, I nearly inhaled that then. You can pretty much get away, I reckon, with a super budget version just by using uh, curry powder and one of those ingredients, except the other ones will definitely enhance it. And the other thing to remember is katsu, like we said, energy and cutlet. The katsu has nothing to do with the sauce, the curry sauce on a chicken katsu curry. Like it's just katsu is the cutlet, the breaded piece of chicken or meat or whatever that accompanies a Japanese curry. That's as far as I'm gonna go with that. I don't wanna get into some crazy debate. As I say, I'm probably wrong, but hopefully with this, we're gonna be right. So it's gonna be a mayonnaise uh, and the main ingredient for that that we're gonna to use to start it off is some more mayonnaise. We made some of our own homemade quite recently. That's really simple and super fresh if you wanna do that. We've got some mustard, some soy sauce, some fish sauce, some sesame oil, some ketchup, some honey, curry powder. I reckon, honestly, if you just add that with mayonnaise, you could skip most of that and get away with it, but this will really help. And a lime. Oh, baby. I'm gonna keep this bit for freshening it up at the end. Mix it well so that it all incorporates together. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh. Oh. I could probably put a little bit more curry powder in it, but it's got that zing from the lime in it. That's at, like, it feels fresher, absolute stonker. Let's cover it. You're probably wondering, you might have heard a eh, eh, when I did that. It's because I freaked out and the spatula was in there. But again, it's covered and sealed. 
But again, that can go in the fridge overnight too. And then we get our breadcrumb ready because we can go. I just felt like I wanted my rainbow to be a bit more green. Oh my gosh, <laughs> doing that one handed is not best advice that's just some coriander that i just want to stir through and you can see actually how it's chilled already it's firmed up quite nicely so we can dollop it on our buns a bit later but i just wanted to speckle a little bit of coriander in there too why not back in that fridge every time i open the fridge i see this cider my friend made me go get it the other day he's like look they brought this orange cider there's a place called thatcher's that are near us quite a big place now uh, and uh, there's other brands that make it too this isn't sponsored or anything um, but he said look blood orange cider they make cider out of oranges i'm like what i've got to go see this so i grabbed the bottle and they are all delicious i've tried other ones as well but unfortunately my mate it is just you know who you are it is just apples uh with orange food coloring and orange flavoring but it has got my brain thinking, oh, could I somehow make a cider out of actual oranges? Maybe a project for the summer, eh? Okay, so in here are some panko breadcrumbs. I put a little bit of plain flour in there as well, just to see if it fills any gaps in case there are any. Hopefully there won't be. And we've got two eggs here that I'm just gonna beat together. This is our dunking station. Yeah, it's probably only had about 90 minutes in there, but I'm just gonna push off as much of that buttermilk as I can and stick it in my egg. Don't mind if a bit of buttermilk's in there, that's fine. That's all right. Straight into the panko like that. You've seen me do this before. Get your dry hand and lift it on top. Oh yeah, see, nice and crumbed. Down on another plate and repeat again. So your wet hand for getting the chicken out and this chicken is so cold. I can't think why, it's been in the fridge, so yeah. Something I found out the other day though, do you realize that fridges don't actually make things cool? They take the hot air out of the box. I never knew that. Shaky, shaky, in. Dry hand, on. Boom. So whilst I tidy this mess up, I'm gonna get my oil. Oh, I'm gonna heat the wrong hob. Vegetable oil, it's time to cook our katsu. All right, here it is ready, or should I say bready? Oh, we went there. Uh, you can uh, bake it in the oven if you want. You can fry it, which I'm gonna do one of them, or uh, you can actually air fry it. So we'll do one in there and one here, 180C. Oh, danger. Woo, in you go, my friend. But remember, we haven't cooked that chicken at all. We flattened it just to help it get a little thinner for a bigger surface area, but you are gonna have to cook it for a good 10 to 12 minutes in there. We'll see what happens on that, but look, we've got a nice golden color already and it's only been a minute. Do not be tempted. We don't want medium rare chicken. I was just thinking with a cutlet typically meaning something being fried in breadcrumbs, are we doing like an air cutlet? Oh, you beauty. See that is the difference. Still crispy, but the batter started to come off a bit, but way healthier. Your choice. So our chicken's just resting there and I am toasting uh, a brioche bun, like so. Just little char lines like that. Uh, I really liked the idea of keeping these in chunks, like big old chicken breast chunks, but I think instead we are gonna slice it into the wedges like you get served typically. Oh yeah. And it's a good way of checking that the chicken's cooked through too, right? Yep, no uh, rare chicken today. So here we go, we have got the base toasted there. And I'm actually kind of glad I did toast it now because the mayonnaise would probably seep in, but I do like it when it's not toast. I do like it softer. Now I'm gonna get some of that rainbow coleslaw to try and create a sort of bed for it to sit on. And then I'm gonna bring in the chicken. I'm trying to work out, should I stick it like that? A slight angle so you can tell. Yeah, that'll do. Nice crunchy bit like the end there, like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that looks amazing. And then if I just put some more of that on top, teeny bit more coriander, why not? And then our lid. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> That's amazing. It's like a little baby, like a burger baby. Yeah, folks, this is my uh, sexy lens and I can change it. Oh, you beautiful thing. That's a bit too blurry. 
We're just playing with you now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is outstanding. <gasps> that might have to be the thumbnail, you know. That might have to be the thumbnail. Oh, a cool thing to say is um, with the chicken breast, we use probably about half of it. So with one chicken breast, you can get two burgers unless you want to fully load that. And I entirely endorse that. <sighs> that is absolutely sensational. The only thing I'm going to say, and it's my fault, not yours, because I took so long taking photos of it, it's a bit cold. Um, <laughs> I wanted that heat in the chicken. So make sure you kind of bite into it straight away. And I guess the chilled marrow doesn't help too much. But other than that, the flavor, that curry sauce drenching that crisp, the crispness in the chicken. I'm gonna check the air fryer one as a comparison in a minute. And the freshness and the crunch, oh, I didn't put lime juice on it. Excuse to have another bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know it's good when I wipe my mouth before realizing after editing that it's covered all over my face. Absolutely sensational and that little bit of lime juice just gives it an extra rank a step in the hierarchy of zing stonkmeister general so this is the air fryer one and the crumb like i say it's a bit like when you bake it which of course as i said you can um it means that the crumb doesn't kind of grab to it so much and it wants to fall off but will we have that crunch mm. Mm. yes we will for me, I'm just going to eat this and then uh, try and work out how to burn off the calories for the rest of the day. But I hope you do try it. If you do, as always, like any of the videos, send me a photo on your social media platform of choice. I love to see them. It's the whole reason I do these videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and make sure your notifications are turned on. And any video ideas you've got, let me know down below and I'll see you again next time. Mm. L-O-V-E is how you spell food Gonna make some truffles to get you in the mood To me your support is smooth as silk When I have my cereal I pour on milk If you got a food mix or give it a whirl I gotta let you know I'm still cooking in love with you girl Yeah this looks amazing You've got the air fryer version is that right? Yeah it's fine by me Oh wow uh, You've got to stop coming home for lunch honestly <laughs> this, is this is amazing Yeah? Mm. Happy wife happy life folks mm. Well, I suppose it's a bit of an upgrade on homemade dog biscuits, which I was going to be doing. <laughs> Bruno didn't nice. show up. No. I no, can't. Bruno. So, uh, yeah. This is very nice. I'm getting very messy, though. All good, mate. All good. I should totally try and get Bruno on camera before he goes back. Mm. He's nuts, though. If I can, I will.